What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Spire Reignited Trilogy episode. Today we are recording, uh, it is actually Wednesday, my day off like I said, and actually I said yesterday I did a video uh, which was the 15th, today is the 16th, and by the way guys, I just got out of Wizard Peak, one of the, it turns out the missing gem was actually one of the enemies that was killed, I guess one of the gems fell off the side, so the side of the edge. It was right by the exit like portal for the level so in this video guys we're gonna go and finish up Magic Crafters and head to Beast Makers so furthermore we have to go over here and we're gonna do the flight level which is Crystal Flight so this is what we're gonna be doing in today's video and I was gonna do Red Dead tonight on Wednesday but if I get some time because it's only 7 o'clock right now this video should be fairly quick as well I'm gonna try to make it 20 minutes at least we could wrap up Magic Crafters and maybe get a couple levels done within Beast Makers, which is the fourth, I believe. Yeah, the fourth homeworld, so. First off, guys, we're going to go through the rings. If I fail, more than likely I'll cut it, the video itself, because I'm going to make it like a nice smooth video for you. But there we go. I think we'll be able to do it the first try. This one's pretty simple, if I remember from my childhood. The music for this one's amazing as well. Man, look at this, guys. Look how beautiful these gems, these like sapphire crystal things look, these structures. I don't know what the hell they are. They sure look cool, that's, that's for sure. Oh shit. God damn it, guys. Okay. So I failed there. Let's, that was just a major epic fail. But basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to redo this one more try, and then if I fail, I'll cut the video. <laughs> I want to give this my second chance. Third time's a charm, usually, usually, because by then, you figured out the pattern. And I played this game, I think in, I finished it up in April of 2018, when I played the original Spiral of the Dragon. I did like a reboot on my channel, which I probably should have just waited, because the trilogy was going to come out anyways, but that's okay. I was craving the classic Spyro experience. Oh shit, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fail now. Three, two, one. Oh my god. This is, yeah, this is bad. Shit, okay guys. <laughs> I'm gonna retry here, so hold on one second. Yes! Oh my god, that was freaking epic. Alright guys, so I'm probably going to keep that clip in there because that was freaking amazing. So let's quit this level. We finally finished Magic Crafters. <laughs> that was really amazing. I'm, I'm surprised I got it on the third try. Well, third time's always a charm, basically. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is freaking epic. So yeah, it's going to be a rapid-fire episode because we're going to get a lot of stuff done, hopefully. So now we're going to go talk to the Balloonist, I believe, which is... I forget which this one's name is. But yeah, 100% level complete. And then, like I said before, we will go back through and get all of the skill points in a bonus episode. That's what I'm going to do with a lot of my Let's Plays that are going on right now. So Tuco the Balloonist, now we're going to go hop on board and go to Beast Makers. So I hope you guys enjoy this little cutscene here. And, yeah, it's just, it's been so crazy lately, guys, because of school, purchasing books and getting everything in order, so I, I'm trying to work today and get all my homework done for, like, the next week and all my classes, because I'm doing 18 hours at, right now, which is pretty a heavy load, but I'm doing, last time I did 21 hours, so that was crazy. Definitely don't recommend that, but if you want to get done with college quickly, it's a good route to go. Alright, Beast Makers, I can't wait to see what this world looks like, because I didn't check out any footage prior to this Let's Play of this game. Oh, wow, look at the frogs. Wow, look at this. This looks so sweet. 
you can actually see all the plant life and like the foliage in the background. That's really cool. Gives you a whole swamp vibe. And are those pillars over there? Yeah, I think there's pillars that we're gonna have to fly to to get some gems as well. It's just hard to tell because the graphics are so nice. Toys for Bob nailed this game. Ooh, look at the electricity, how sweet that looks. Holy crap. All right, guys, and by the way, I did use the Sparks Finder to find the gems in when I was doing that run through of Wizard Peak. I thought I could hit, oh, I almost could hit him. Yeah, so basically you're gonna have to watch out for these guys because these norks are gonna electrify these various platforms within Beast Makers. Here's Terrace Village. I think we're gonna do this one today in this episode. Maybe uh, not Misty Bog because I, I don't like that level. It's all right, but it's a little annoying, a pain. Bruno is our next dragon. Nasty North is turning our swamp into an electrified jump heap. <sighs> and it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. All right, guys, number 47. And now we got that dragon. Let's go over here. We got a couple fireworks packages. We're gonna have to be careful here. Oh shit, that was very close. I think we did take some damage there, but that's okay. All right, and now we got these bulls, which or these wild hogs. You're gonna have to flame them. They're not bulls. I don't know what the what the hell I was thinking there. Wild boars. These swamp boars. They were actually really nasty. We got one in one time in our butcher shop. The meat kind of smelled really weird, like rancid almost. Definitely wouldn't recommend it. Okay guys, so we're gonna get this dragon right here, which is Cletus. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. All right, so Cletus is just another one of those repetitive dragons. There we go. I really like how the, the chest break in this game is so satisfying. And the singeing of all these, the plant life. Be careful, because there is a boar right here. He's a pesky little bastard. Yeah, I think those platforms over there, the, you, those are the ones you're not able to access. That's just background detail, which looks beautiful. It's It looks so good, it looks like you could just jump over there and explore it. You also have to go down here, guys, because the... Uh, flight level wild flight is down here and that music is is great as well in wild flight it's a great soundtrack Stuart Copeland nailed all of these games all right so let's double check yeah clicking the L3 button just points you right into the direction of the gems it's very nice it's a feature that wasn't provided until Spyro 3 I think, Year of the Dragon, or Spyro 2. It was either one of those two, but it definitely wasn't Spyro the Dragon, the original game. Uh, but yeah, so that's a pretty interesting little fact there. Let's go over here, guys, get some of these gems that are hiding. Oh, here's my favorite level, Treetops. This is my all-time favorite, and I cannot wait to play that level in this high-def rendered version within the Unreal Engine. This game is unreal, that's for sure. And let's kill one of these. Get our sparks back up, let's just double check. Yeah, so all the gems are over here now. You can also see the balloonist, as well as metalhead, which is the actual boss in Beast Makers. He's a little bit more, I think he's probably the most challenging boss in the game, just, or not really, he's pretty simple, um, but he's definitely the most challenging in my opinion because Nasty Nork is a joke. What's it called? Dr. Shemp is a total joke. As well as like Blowhard and all those things, so. Yeah, I, even Toasty is kind of a joke too. <laughs> so yeah, Metalhead's probably the most challenging in my opinion out of all the bosses in this game. I always get hit with his laser fire. Yeah, see we could go over here now, guys. Shit, and then we're also gonna have to get the key which is on that platform. But we actually have to go all the way. If you could see now when you press triangle, in the original games you could only look left and right. But now you have a free view, so it's beautiful. We're going to have to glide all the way over from that top right there. So it's going to be fairly simple. 
Let's just wait here and we'll kill this Nork. I like how the graphics, you can actually see how ugly the Norks are meant to be in the original game. They're really supposed to be nasty creatures. Okay, so there's Metalhead. We got the Balloonist over here. I feel so Pray the Balloonist. Maybe once you oh, once we get 50 dragons, we could go to <coughs> the next homeworld, which I believe is Dreamweaver, which is a beautiful homeworld. It's so, like, magical, and Lofty Castle is in that particular homeworld, which is a beautiful level. One of the best, one of my favorite soundtracks from this first game, for sure. All right, and I, sorry for if I sound like congested, guys. I think I'm getting sick. Yeah, we're gonna have to go over here too. Actually, what is this? Oh yeah, this is just to get over here. I thought this was. I thought we could get on top of that building for some reason. I don't know what the hell. All right, let's go over here, guys. Get the key, just like that, nice and simple. And we're able to glide over here, which is nice. All right, so let's go down here, and I think, hopefully this does it. I think this should. Did that do it? No, we're still missing stuff. Oh, we're still missing one gem? Are you serious? It's gonna be one of those episodes again, <laughs> when we're missing one gem. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh, wait, here it is. God damn it. Yes, okay. So we got this now. 100% level completion, and I believe we are going to go back to the beginning now, so we're going to have to jump up here, and just fly right over here. Yeah, this is the beginning, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, so first off, guys, let's go to Terrace Village, which is going to be the first level within the Beast Maker's homeworld. And we got 100% completion on everything so far, which is amazing. Besides the skill points, which doesn't really matter, like I mentioned. That's just a new feature they added to this game, because in the original Spyro, there was no skill points. Only in Spyro 2 and 3 is when those started to arise. That's when they were implemented. Okay, Terrace Village. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Oh, this is a nice green environment. These characters are a lot easier to kill compared to those other ones. Alright, sweet. Okay guys, so we're going to go over here. You also have to be careful, we have these, sh these shooting, oh crap, these shooting enemies over here. They have like these electric turrets, so you're going to have to be very careful. Let's make sure we got all the gems over here. Perfect guys. Alright, so let's refuel Sparks, and we're going to get this, and kill this enemy, oh shit, god damn it, I'm running right into these enemy fire, let's wait, oh sweet, extra life, I will take that, that's for sure, and the cool thing about this level is, it's like separated into little sections over here. Like small little terraces, which is really nice. Oh shit. Just like that. That's a spiral of skills right there. <laughs> God damn it. That's not spiral skills. <laughs> Alright, so there we go, guys. I think we got all of this. Just do one final circle. <coughs> Let's do a, a, a check for sparks as well. Yeah, see, here we go. That's why I'm so happy they added that. By the way, let's go over here and kill this chicken. Or rooster, whatever the hell it is. I know. Let's go into this room now. I think this, yeah, this is where we have to go. Perfect. Alright guys, so we got all of this. Yeah, this is the same area. I just want to make sure because I don't want to do any backtracking. I don't want to make any mistakes. Alright, our first dragon here, which is uh, Claude A. Or Claude. 
Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Okay, so yeah, he's just basically... That's Captain Obvious right there. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna kill this enemy here. Also, we're gonna kill this one. Perfect. Booyah. Also, we're gonna have to fly on some of these rooftops over here in order to get all of the gems. And I do believe there is a rocket, like a firework rocket, we have to actually hit. Yeah, see, it's gonna destroy these two metal chests over here that are not accessible. And there's a lot of stuff going on in this level. And the updated graphics and stuff really make it more, like, engaging, for sure. Okay, so let's be careful. Let's wait for this guy to electrocute that. That will kill him. Oh shit. Alright, there we go. So, so far, so good, it looks like. Now let's go over here. We're gonna have to wait for this guy to do this first so we don't get hit. Nice. Perfect. Alright. Let's regen sparks. Kill all of these enemies down here. Yes, nice. Yeah, we're really finding everything, that's for sure. Okay, so we got all of this stuff down here. It's always good to check out these corners first, just to make sure everything's all good. Alright guys, let's get this next dragon, which is Cyprin. <laughs> good job, Spyro! Pretty One cool. Be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. All right, guys. All the dragons are now found. Ooh, it looks like we got an extra life. Thirty extra lives. Holy crap! Let's try to get fifty by the end of this let's play. I'm gonna try not to die. It's pretty uh, hard to die in this game. Although, I'll probably manage to do it. Shit. That was very close. Oh shit, we got some stuff down here. Looks like I missed. I'm glad I came down here. Alright, what's over here? I guess this is nothing. That was just like a continuation that I missed or something. <coughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that really hurt, guys. Oh, 31. Holy shit. I totally forgot that we can accumulate those by eating more of those, uh... What's it called? Getting some butterflies. There we go. Beautiful. So I think this is everything. Now we're able to go up here. And this is basically the main hub now for everything. So all you gotta do is fly over here, fly over here, and this is like, this building right here is gonna get you where you need to go, so keep an eye out for this. There we go. Because we want 100% in this game. That is for sure. Okay, so this is good. Oh shit, I still got zap there. That's kinda that's kinda messed up. Alright guys, so we got all of this. Now we basically just have to go all the way back here. Let's see. Yeah, this is where we have to go. I think so. Yep. Okay guys, so we're gonna have to go here now. And I, I accidentally made a mistake. We're gonna have to go all the way back to this big pillar <laughs> so we're able to get up here but it's it's no problem it's it's a real simple fix there we go and we'll go here I love the power of Spyro's glide it's so sweet very rewarding that's for sure okay so let's try to perfect yes there's some gems over here now we're able to go here. 
Nice. We're able to light this firework. You have to keep in mind for these fireworks as well while you're up here. You want to make sure you light them all. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, I think so. I really don't want to come back all the way. Alright, so we got all of those. Shit, there's another one too. Crap, where is this one? Is it on the ground? I can't remember where it is. Hmm. Alright, so let's go... Yeah, guys, let's go all the way back now. I think we're going to go back here. Let's do one more try at this. Third time's a charm. At least we got a majority of all the gems. We just have to do some cleanup work now. So that's not too bad. Perfect. Over here. And I think this is it, yep. Alright guys, let's do a double take now while we're over here. Just make sure we're not missing anything. Because I really don't want to come back again. Let's see, nothing up here. Oh, here it is. Oh my god, guys, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I can't believe that. At least we found it. Okay, sweet. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now we're done, guys. 100% level complete. And now we can exit the level. We got it all done, guys. So I think it's been almost 24 minutes. I'm going to cut the video off for now. That's been a successful session. Like 22 minutes or so. 6,200 treasure. Wow, we are making great progress. Then in the next video, I plan on finishing Beast Makers. And I think tomorrow night, which is Thursday, I'm going to try to do something different like Red Dead 2 or Ghost Recon because I've been talking about that forever. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more content, guys.